Chapter 7.2, Introduction to Equations. When we work in mathematics, we often deal in number sentences, as in we write down a sequence a little bit like this one here. There is some information that's missing, which is referred to as this pronumeral or this variable, which is the x. We're saying that this side here, 5x minus 3, equals 1. And we refer to that as an equation. It's got an equal sign, it's an equation. Worked example one, 3, part A. The question asks us to write this equation in words. When we do these, what we want to do is start with our variable or our pronumeral, x. We refer to that as a number. Now, what are we doing to it? We're multiplying it by 5. So, when a number is multiplied by 5, And then what are we doing to it? We've done this bit. We're subtracting 3. And 3 is subtracted. The result is 1. That's all you need to do. Start with the variable, the pronumeral. We'll call it a number. And what are we doing to it? Multiplying it by 5. When a number is multiplied by 5, subtract 3, and 3 is, subtract, is subtracted, what we result with, what we equals, is 1. The result is 1. Let's have a look at part B. Once again, we'll start with where our variable is, right there. And you can see what we're doing is we're going to divide by 5. So, when a number is divided by 5, the next thing we're doing is we're adding 2. And 2 is added. The result is 6. So the important things there is we're starting with this phrase here when a number is and then we're doing some things to it the result is and we get some result at the end there that's how we do these questions work example four so what we're asking in this case is we've got an equation we've got a possible answer for what our, our variable, our pronumeral could be. So, for the following equation, check whether the value given in the brackets is the solution. As in, does the value make the equation true? That's my abbreviation for the word equation. And the answer's got to be either yes or no. So here's what we do. x equals 5, so we put a 5 in where we see the x. Now we know that this is 3 times x, so we're going to put 5 in there. So what we're going to have is 3 times 5 minus 4 equals 11. So all we did was replace him with that. Now remember our order conventions, 3 times 5 is 15 minus 4 equals 11. And 15 minus 4 is 11 equals 11. Therefore... If it didn't um, work out, we might say, say for example, we had 12 equals 11. We would say, does not equal 11, therefore, false. Okay, work example five. Similar sort of question, but it's coming from a slightly different angle. Find a solution for the following equation by using guess, check, and improve method. It's the same sort of thing, except we don't have a value for x this time. We've got to guess what the value is, check if it's right, and if it's not, improve our guess. 
so let's have an example. Let's have a go. So let's say, let x equal 5. That's just a guess. So let's assume x equals 5. Let's work out what happens. So 6 times 5, because I put a 5 in where my x is, 6 times 5 minus 1 divided by 5, none of that changes, equals 7. None of that changes at all. 6 times 5 is 30, minus 1 over 5 should equal 7. 30 minus 1 is 29. Now 29 divided by 5 does not equal 7. So therefore that won't work. So now we have to make a different guess. Our answer would be a little bit too low. It's going to be a little bit under. Uh, 6 times 5 is 30. We've only got 29. So 5 goes into 29 a little bit less than 6 times. So let's try something a bit different. Let's just try let x equal 6. All right. So we need to make this side a little bit bigger because it's not quite 7. So let x equal 6. 6 times 6 minus 1 over 5 should equal 7. Once again, I've written my equation out exactly as it was. I just replaced the x's with 6's. So, 6 6's are 36 minus 1 over 5 equals 7. 36 minus 1. And we can see 35 divided by 5 is 7 equals 7. Therefore, x equals 6 is the solution. And that's an abbreviation for solution. And that's the final statement we need at the end there. Notice how it's set out. Try and line up your equal signs. Try and keep all your working clearly shown for each step so we can clearly see what's happening between each step. Anything we don't change just gets written down on the next line. We didn't change the minus 1, so we wrote it down again. We didn't change the divide by 5. We wrote him down again. We changed 6 times 6 to 36, and we wrote him down.